And it does have a Canadian connection. British police investigating the deaths of at least 88 people who bought products from a Canadian-based website, a site allegedly offering lethal substances to people who were at a risk of self-harm. Investigation sparked by the arrests of Kenneth Law. He's a man from the Greater Toronto Area. He was arrested earlier this year. He had been charged with two counts of counselling and aiding suicide by selling what's known as sodium nitrate, that if you ingest it, can be deadly. Law is accused of sending at least 1,200 shipments to more than 40 countries. Britain has identified more than 200 people who bought products from him. 88 of them have died. Authorities in the U.S., Italy, Australia, New Zealand also launching similar investigations. CTV's John Woodward is joining me now. He's been covering this story extensively over the last few months. Uh, John, bring us up to speed on where things stand and that British connection here to it all. Yeah, it's actually Britain where this all originated. Uh, uh, Times of London investigation pointed out that there had been a number of uh, cases, suicides individually that weren't individually taken seriously by the authorities. But a reporter uh, at the Times of London linked them to say uh, they're connected to a Mississauga man named Kenneth Law. That's what started this ball rolling. And since then, we've been ca- we've been tracking every death that's been connected either by the authorities or by family members who can point to receipts or or, uh, or sometimes communications from Kenneth Law, a figure that has grown as it's stretched around the world to New Zealand, to Italy, to Great Britain, to two in the U.S., including a 17-year-old in Michigan. And now we're seeing the, the results of one part of this worldwide investigation, which is the National Crime Agency in the United Kingdom, doing the tally and saying 88 people in the UK, uh, sorry, 232 people in the UK had ordered products from Kenneth Law's several websites, and 88 of those have died. Uh, just a caution, we don't know the connection. We don't know if those deaths are all connected to uh, to Kenneth Law, but that's the figure that they're saying. When you add that to the tally that we have we have done worldwide, the figure we get is at least 101 deaths around the world. What are the implications here for for Kenneth Law himself? I know he was arrested. What's happening on that front? So Kenneth Law has a bail hearing today, uh, and we're going to go see uh, what at what stage the court process is on that score. Um, that relates to the two charges in Mississauga. But one of the revelations from the UK, which we didn't get directly from Canadian police, was the UK police say the Canadians are not going to charge Kenneth Law with any of the offenses that occurred in the United Kingdom. Instead, what's going to happen is the National Crime Agency there will investigate him criminally there, uh, which means there's another investigation on top of the many Canadian police forces, at least 11 in Ontario alone, that are doing their investigations. Uh, and we've inquired at uh, Kenneth Law's lawyer to see if he's uh, going to get his own UK lawyer uh, on top of uh, on top of what's been going on. But there's been no charges in the UK. And I should say that Kenneth Law has constantly maintained before his arrest and through his lawyers, that he is just a seller. He says, I'm not responsible for what people do with my deadly products. If they choose to commit suicide, that's up to them. Of course, the family members of some of the dead would say, my as young as 17-year-old uh, vulnerable person with depression or other, other mental health issues should not have been left uh, in that vulnerable position. And uh, they have alleged that, um, that what happened was not consensual but criminal. Great reporting as always, John. Good to see you. Thank you for this. Thanks. CTV's John Woodward on that story.